so much for coming out tonight and be with us. Did you notice the beautiful cake on the uh, other side of the room? Yeah. Yeah. So Sabrina, <laughs> she's the designer of the cake. And she said, oh, please, let me make you a cake. I said, no, 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 I don't need a cake. Don't worry about it. Just come to our next tweet up. And then I went home and I thought about it. I'm like, hey, yeah, how about a social media cake? <laughs> so, you, Michael, did you want to tell us about the coin or whatever face you coined for the cake? <laughs> Hashtag social cake. <laughs> Uh, the first uh, use of the word social cake, and uh, I'm learning how to uh, trademark it right here, so feel free to use it. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for the cake. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> how do you start building relationships on social media? You know, you just have to come out and you have to engage. It's not all about you. And don't worry about the following. Focus on the relationship. Having your top tweet, having the right avatar is important. One of the things you just said about how uh, to not make it about you. Um, I know that there have been lots of studies over the years, and we're all familiar with them, about how most individuals on Twitter or in social media like to talk about themselves instead of, you know, promoting other people. What, you know, what kind of content is good content to tweet? How do you pick what kind of content you tweet about, you blog about? So think of yourself as a radio station or a TV channel. What kind of content do you want to watch? For me, something that's inspirational, something that is, you know, mind stimulating, something that's a challenge, something about tech. What do you think about scheduled tweets? You mentioned it a little bit, you're tweeting at night. Do you want to start with Sean on that one? Right. Uh, one of the reasons that I schedule tweets, I understand it's still, for some people, a no-no. I schedule it because there are 38 time zones in the world, <laughs> separate time zones, and there are 7 billion people. When you have a lot of followers, I like to reciprocate. So I like to retweet their content. So, I mean, I do have to tweet a little bit more. So what I've been doing is kind of backing off maybe every 30 minutes, whereas before it was every 15 minutes. So some people every minute. Um, so I do sleep. I just schedule them. Where should we have a? Where should you have a presence if you're getting started in social media? For me personally, I'm on Twitter. It's my favorite. Um, it's about. It's kind of obvious. Facebook, Google Plus is a must. Um, Instagram. Uh, especially with hospitality, cakes, etc. So if you go look at my little uh, setup, I've got two screens. I've got like each tab open and I just bounce, 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 bounce. So make sure you check in to each of your social media platform every day if possible, even if it's five minutes, 15 minutes, or whatever. And give more than you take. Great, great advice. I would just kind of piggyback on the, the Google Plus. I think the Google Plus is uh, is necessary, not because it's overwhelmingly popular, but because Google indexed it. In other words, they put it inside of search. So when you put something in Google Plus, it's going to show up in search. If you could tell one thing to the aspiring social mediaite, what would be the one thing that you would tell them to do, or what one thing to to focus on as an aspiring social media person? Yeah, I think for me personally, it's probably, I like to focus on social good. Um, so when I first started, uh, Amy Newman, she reached out to me and Sean um, to raise money uh, through 12 Days of Giving for Christmas. So we each picked our own uh, cause, and then we raised money through the different social media platforms. It was really, really fun. I even tweet out, I'm like, okay, the next person to do donate XYZ, I will dye my hair pink. And I did do that. Oh my gosh, never again. Because once you go pink, it's really hard to go back. <laughs> <laughs> just really quickly, to, to, I, I don't know if you could just explain a little bit more because I found it very interesting about what, what Twitter's doing tomorrow about the, the first, um, your first tweet and your rating your tweets. Yeah. Out. And what's going to happen is um, he's trying to, at least the CEO and Twitter, is trying to get people to understand that um, I guess they want to move people away from exactly how many followers you have. They said that that's very important, but they want people to understand that it's actually how many people see your tweet. So you could have 300,000 people um, and, you, and somebody else could have 10,000 people, but more people could see the tweet of somebody with 10,000. So they're trying to come up with a way to actually measure that, and that's going to take effect at 12 midnight. That's good. All right. Uh, thanks to Sabrina for the cake. Um, wonderful, lovely. I want to say thank you to the Edgar staff. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for coming out. And enjoy yourself.
Gracias. Gracias.